Hello and welcome, this is Mark from MWP Arts Creative Journey, and today I'm going to be doing an ATC, and it is part of the Art Sherpa Design Team's day where they reveal the theme for the month of November, and I will reveal that theme shortly. But for now, I'd just like to let you know that there are six members total in this group, and check them all out. I'll have them in the description down below, and you can find out more about them and what they're doing this month also. They may do a reveal here, they may do it over on Facebook, over on the Facebook um, pay group of the ATC group, and all the description and information about the ATC group can be found in the description too. And just thought I'd let you know that today I am starting off with a piece of, you can hear that, it is a, um, a board actually, it has like a, um, oh, what are they called? Yeah, it's a um, cardboard type thing, uh, <laughs> and it has been primed, I mean gessoed, with like a tinted of red and um, red and red oxide in the gesso. I used clear gesso and they tinted it. And it was some leftover gesso from a previous video I did just recently. So let's get started. So the Art Sherpa design team was created I think set members originally now we're at six but we're here to give you maybe a little inspiration and share with you our our skills and you know, each one's at a different level in their art journey I'm in an early journey level and I've been creating art for um, over three years now well it's been over three years pretty much started I have always been around you know artists like uh, my wife who's also one of the members of the the art sherpa design team you know her as deliberate creative she's got a YouTube channel too and like I said all that information will be in the description down below the people and their channels and uh, my journey you know started maybe I think get more creative you know besides watching my wife create her art I started to get involved in photography oh back almost 10 years ago I think and kept with that for a good six years steady and got a good collection of you know photography wildlife nature landscape and now I'm not doing the photography as much but when I'm camping or in a new location I love to get that camera out and and document some of the scenery and occasionally just you know pull up my phone and take pictures of a cool sunset or sunrise or something that I'm having for you know dinner in an artistic way <laughs> so you can be creative in different ways other than you know drawing painting you can be artistic with your photography so now that I'm done with most of my photography years uh, I've jumped onto the painting drawing and you know using color pencils pastels acrylics watercolor oh man I'm just a bit excited about learning new techniques and new mediums and a lot of it started of course from my wife being the artist that she is but also I discovered cinnamon and several other artists out there on YouTube 
and followed along with their art tutorials that they've shared on YouTube. And there's several artists that out there on Facebook and Instagram that I follow too that inspire me so much. And I've even tried to do some of their artwork and but then you know try try to do it in my style but their you know some of their art that they've created and if I'm doing it in somebody else's art I will also share with them first and ask permission to I can you know share the theme for this month of November is fan art. So the definition of fan art is artworks created by fans created by fans of a work of fiction, generally generally visual media such as comics, movies, television shows, or video games, and delivered from a character or another aspect of that art of that work. And so I am doing today some fan art of a Disney character and a particular Disney character um, scene and that scene if you don't already know is a scene from Fantasia one of my favorite cartoons that came out 1940 and then there was another version that came out later on also and 2000 so the 1940 version is what I remember but I've seen that 2000 version too but when that came out oh, I'm sure it was amazing to people you know is it, uh, yeah, well, it wasn't the norm back then, but, you know, Mr. Walt Disney himself, he was an amazing artist, and he hired amazing artists to do a lot of these artwork on the, you know, for the big screen eventually. lot of movies out there. I mean, I could have done a different character, but it just inspired me to try this one. And I, you know, thought about doing, you know, other uh, fan artworks on different Disney characters over the years. You know, I could have done, oh, I don't know, Little Mermaid, or maybe even one of the dogs from the 101 Dalmatians. Or Beauty and the Beast, I could have done the Beast. You know, you can do also fan art on different characters of, you know, different movies that, maybe cult movies that you've really enjoyed over the years, or the part, usually for, especially for Mickey Mouse. But, uh, yeah, so this was my first ATC of the fan art theme, and I hope to see what everybody else is doing out there, you know, in the comments. Let me know what you are planning to do if you're watching this. And uh, if this inspired you a little bit, you know, Disney is one of your favorite type of movies. And tell me what your favorite character is from the, you know, the Disney movies out there. And if it's not, let me know what your favorite characters are out there. What, you know, what's going to inspire you to do your fan art? I'd love to hear what you're going to do and please please share your ATC when you're done on the ATC group on Facebook and if you're a member already of the ATC group of being able to share two of your ATCs in the mail You already know the theme probably because it is, you know, 
the members that signed up on the archer.com site, they have a bonus of knowing the theme a couple days early. Oh, I think the 27th or 28th, I think, I'm not sure. 27th, 28th of the month. So, um, but make sure and don't tell anyone else until after the first, of course. And by the time you see this video anyway, it will be after the first of the month. So, what am I going to Now I've already told you the reveal of this. So the paid version of the ATC group will get you the opportunity to send in two of your ATCs. And all you do is have to, when you sign up, because I think it's $10 for three months. So that's, you know, less than, that's like $3.33 a month. And it helps with the international shipping of the ATCs all over the world. It keeps the cost down for everybody also. And uh, if you're doing the free version, then what you do there is there's a address that you'll be sending these ATCs to. That's in the Facebook group or on the Archer official site. And you insert a loose stamp into your envelope with your one ATC. And it will be shipped. And then you will probably receive uh, one, if you're doing the one version, from somebody else. Or two if you're doing the paid version. And let's see, so this is November. You'll send it by like November 28th. Have it sent in the mail, postmarked. And um, and then it'll you know be all handled and sorted out in December and probably receive it in January. And what does it mean to you? Go ahead and look up fan art work on the internet and you'll find more. You know, you can look at Pinterest. Oh, we can probably even find some fan art um, on YouTube videos. I'm sure Cinnamon's done several. And uh, you can look up some of her fan art that she's done in the past. I know she's done, uh, you know, a couple pieces at least. So ATCs, if you're new here, they are measurement of 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Generally on something that's rigid, you, know, you could use a um, cereal box, you know, cut out a cereal box to that shape. You, know, you want to try to get it as straight as possible using a, you know, maybe a, um, a cutting board to cut it. Uh, you end up going to use scissors, you know want to have a straight edge of some kind or using a razor to get the general shape around it. Or there's pre-cut ones out there you can buy from different companies that will sell you watercolor ones that are made with watercolor paper, made for watercolor. Other ones made for acrylic. Yeah. Some are made for multimedia, uh, just all types of media. Whatever you use, just have fun, put color on it, and just enjoy. Today I'm using a pre-cut one already. came from an assortment pack of ATCs. 
Okay, so how am I looking? Oh, looking good. So, is this like a Mickey Mouse from Fantasia that you remember? You know, so click like, leave me a comment saying what you liked about it. And if it brought back memories of your Disney experience. If you were a Disney of the Disney era and enjoyed the Disney, watching with your kids, your grandkids. You know, I enjoyed watching with my son and now I got grandkids, so I'm sure I'll be watching it with them too. So, theme was fan art. Have fun. Figure out what fan art means to you and what your favorite shows, comics, movies are. And create a little fan art and share it with everybody here on the ATC group. Ooh, look at that. See that shimmer on his hat? It's magical. Just like the Fantasia I remember. So, thanks again for watching my video on fan art. And this has been Mark from MWP Arts Creative Journey. Take care, put some color onto whatever surface you're painting on today, and come back again and check out more of my videos. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And make sure to check out the other artists out there that are also in the design team because they are great artists too. Like I said earlier. Each one of us are at different levels, and some of them have been painting for years and years and years. I think I am almost done. Just one little highlight on his nose. And I think I will call it How do you like it? I like it. All right, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like I said earlier, and check out everybody else's videos, and take care, and I can't wait to see everybody's fantasy, or fan art, I should say, videos, out, or photos of paintings. <laughs> or drawings, or whatever medium you choose to use. And take care, and we'll see you real soon again. Bye.